Welcome back, everyone, to the show. I'm your host, as always, Jay Villain. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. We have a janky, spanky, half blanky, no, that doesn't make any sense, uh, vampire party deck, which I call the Blood Party for obvious reasons. All right. So I haven't wanted to do a party deck, and I said, um, what better way than to do a vampire party? Because I said, vampires have clerics, vampires have warriors, vampires have um, rogues, good ones too. Now they don't have wizards, so that was something I had to overcome. But I said, you know, red has wizards, and red also will let me cast Zargus. Zagris, not Zargus, Zagris. So. I said, we put a little splash of red in with the black. And I'm sure the vampires would appreciate a little splash of red with the black. Um, so this is Blood Party. I'm probably going to do another party deck with more variety, but you can kind of build a little bit of a janky vampire-themed party deck. Um, I have fun with it. Is it super viable and mythic? Probably not. Um, is it fun to play when it goes off like crazy? Oh, yeah. So let's take a look at what we got. Blood Chief's Thirst. That's Drana. She's the poster child. Drana's been doing it for a long time, and nobody does it better than her. Malakir Rebirth. Malakir uh, comes up a lot with this. I remember Malakir from way back with um, Battle for Zendikar, and Malakir vampires were awesome. So this counts as a land first, and it also lets us bring back stuff from the dead, just like a vampire. Expedition Skulker. Hey, she's a common, and as long as there's another rogue, she's at Death Touch. We're gonna have another rogue. We got plenty of rogues in this deck, giving her Death Touch. 2-2 uh, Death Touch, excellent blocker, excellent attacker. We got four Malakar Blood Priests, another common. You lose X life, they lose X life, you gain X life when the creature's in your party. Uh, Cullblade, here's our warrior. Now, he's not good in best of three, but he is good in standard. Um, whenever something dies, put call blade on it and we're gonna have a lot of death touch so people's gonna die the null priest of oblivion which probably has to be one of the coolest card names ever um if you introduced yourself as null priest of oblivion um i think people would take you seriously so she allows people to bring back and she has lifelink if we can kick her um uh she can bring people back right to the battlefield and she has menace and lifelink and uh she's a vampire She's a cleric too. So we're borrowing this Magmatic Chandler. If she has if she has four or more instances of sorcery cards in our graveyard, um, she gets a uh, three one, and she also lets it discard. She is a wizard. She's a good blocker for early in the game, and um, I like her discard ability because it lets you throw away stuff and exile things and play those cards. So I really like her. That's why I chose her to be our resident wizard. But she's not a vampire. Well, there's a solution to that. Thundering Rebuke, I think, is a great card because it's four damage. You can get that Gem Razor or that Migratory Great Horn out really quick. People are going to try to jump you with green right now because Landfall is all the rage. This will slow them down. Marauding Blight Priest, that's Vito's daughter. You know her and you love her. She is a cleric. She does not actually have a crab claw for her hand. That is actually her staff. I'm kind of disappointed she doesn't have a crab claw for her hand. I kind of thought that made her interesting. But hey, we still love her. Nighthawk Scavenger. Very good card. Um, two black, one for a flying death touch lifelink. One, three. That's good enough as it is. But if you have a lot of cards in their graveyard, um, this really kind of bonuses on the mill decks. Uh, it goes up. Don't worry, we're going to be killing cards, so there's going to be a lot of different types. Vito. You know him, you love him. Uh, I shouldn't have to explain what Vito does and what he's all about. We're going to be killing things. Ardent Electromancer. Here's our other wizard. And what I like about her is that she comes in with the party mechanic to add extra mana. Now this can push us over the edge when we're trying to cast another spell. So what I can do with her is if I only have three mana, I can play her... If I have her and another party member, a warrior or a cleric or a uh, rogue out, I immediately have enough for uh, a Thundering Rebuke, a Magmatic Channeler, or something like that. 
so I can get her down to the board, hit Magmatic Channeler, or hit Thundering Rebuke. So it's a twofer. It lets us kind of chain stuff. We're throwing in a coveted prize. Only one. Um, the, uh, the funny thing about this is that this is goes down. It's one of those cards that goes down for your uh, total party members. And if you have a full party, you can cast a uh, converted mana cost four or less from your hand without paying its cost. This will let you get a lot of good stuff on the board. Only one of them for now, because we're kind of test firing it. Again, these are kind of deck archetypes. You can play with them. You can take them up and down. If you don't like the wizards I put in, um, you can add your own wizards. You can add your own different things. If you don't want that many warriors or that many um, clerics or something, change it around. Don't worry about it. Have fun with it. Drana. Now you need her. And she's going to be useful everywhere. So here's our solution to not having vampires. Well, when she attacks, the defending player chooses a non-legendary creature from her graveyard. We return that card with a 1-1, and it's a vampire. So guess what? If our wizards die, and maybe we'll sacrifice them, throw them into battle, or use them as blockers, well, guess what? Drana, using her dark vampire powers, will bring them back as vampires. Boom. And everybody's happy. Thwart the Grave. Here's another great one. We can return the target cleric, uh, target creature card, one cleric, rogue, warrior, wizard, from a graveyard to the battlefield. That's one less for each party member. And of course, always finishing up with a big sword load of smite, Ember Cleave. We can trick Ember Cleave onto the battlefield by using Ardent Electromancer, using a little bit of that extra power. We're going to have a lot of creature. We're going to have a lot of creatures, so attacking with multiple creatures is not going to be too hard. And rounding out our legendary vampire things here, we have Zargas, this Thief of Heartbeats. Um, he's expensive, but guess what? He's going to go down with every single party member we have. So almost always the most we're ever going to pay for him is maybe four. Uh, two, what, a red, black, and two colorless. Because we're usually going to have a cleric or a rogue or a wizard or something. At least two of those out. Everybody has death touch. It's going to turn into a slaughter fest. And he insta-kills when any something with uh, has death touch and touches a planeswalker. It doesn't matter if it's one life and it's Ugin with ten counters on him. That planeswalker dies. Mm. Can't beat that. We're running 13 swamps, 7 mountains, 2 temple of malice. Add or remove lands to taste. I like Temple of Malice. I don't really care for the, the party, quote-unquote party land. I don't think it does very much. Um, I think that it's more useful when you're not really running kind of mono with a splash of red. If you're not running mono black with a splash, splash of red, it's a little bit more useful because it kind of crosses the spectrum. So, um, so that's a grand total of 22 swamps. This is 24 swamps if we're adding that. So we're not too expensive because... This is our really only standard expensive one. If we take a look at the big board, we're running uh, 23 vampires, clerics, um, rogues, war wizards, and warriors. We have most clerics uh, because that's kind of what's the most useful and the most interesting. And um, we don't need too much expensive stuff because even the expensive stuff over here is going to reduce in price when we get that um, party mechanic going. So that's the idea. Get that party mechanic going and... Um, lower the price of all these different things lower the mana cost she's the only one that's gonna she's our capstone so um that's what we really want to get out because once we get her out we start losing people she just brings it back so uh that's basically the layout uh and we're gonna get to the decks here and we're gonna get to the game but before we do please like and subscribe to the video uh subscribe to my channel like the video do not like my channel and subscribe to the video. That's wrong. Um, and if you don't, I've got a bad warning for you. The like and subscribe will come and get you. So avoid him. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. You're here watching. Don't, don't rely on YouTube to just recommend them. Subscribe today. Um, join us at Twitch. Twitch.tv. we got a couple good guys in there right now. We're having a good time chatting, hanging out. Uh, Twitch.tv slash J. Link is in the description. Let us go. Let's see if we can get it in with this blood party. All right. So, yeah. Um, did anybody else get their ass kicked in best of three? I did. Um, 
I'm not a best of three player. Uh, that is not my jam. I'm a one and done kind of guy. That is a terrible hand, good lord. Uh, that is a little bit better. That is a little bit better. So what do we want to throw away? We want to throw away a mountain. There's Serrated Scorpion. Okay, we have that out. Okay, so at least have that. So we're playing black and not the um, the coveted, uh, what's it called? What's the thing that's everywhere now? What does he do? To uh, landfall, you may cast it from your grave card. Whenever a land is in your grave, oh sorry, so you can bring it back from the graveyard. Okay, so that's what it does. Okay, so he's moving pretty quick, but we can get Night, uh, Nighthawk Scavenger out. It's a cool card back. He brought the battle pass. So this is a mono black, um, kind of a mono black speed thing going on here. Um, that's interesting. It's like a worse blood gas, yeah, kind of. I can't even tell exactly what it is. It just just kind of looks like a, a nothing. Okay, so let's bring that out. Let's bring that out. Let's say we can do this too. So let's see, he might play it from his graveyard, but it will still have summoning sickness. Okay, and now we bring out Drana. And we're gonna say no attacks. Alright, so he can bring out she can bring out another Nighthawk Scavenger. Let's see if he has another removal. He has Lucky Clover, so it's a black adventure. A haunted Nightmare. I get Menace. Um, I want Menace on her. So we get to bring that out. We're going to bring Vito the Dusk Rose out. And we are going to attack with Drana. And him, because he has to bring back Nighthawk Scavenger. So we will have a blocker. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to gain a little bit of life. He's going to lose some. And then we also have a coveted prize um, that we don't have a full party yet. We need a warrior. We have a cleric. Oh, we need a rogue. No, we have two rogues and two clerics. Um, so we can't get the coveted prize yet. Um, but he's in a little bit of trouble if he doesn't get some elimination here. Uh, because I'm just going to keep doing this. He's going to lose the life. Um, actually, I think he's just going to lose right now. Yeah, he's just going to lose. Uh, let's just make him lose. So we attack with him and him. He's got to bring back the Nighthawk Scavenger that he just killed. We're going to gain that life. And then we're just going to hit him with a head full of Vito. Okay, that's it. Uh, the speed mono black taken down let's see if we can keep the ball rolling here guys so yeah that's how that's supposed to work guys Drana is a big part of it if you're gonna spend mythic rares spend them on Drana um, yeah I'll tell you what I'm 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 simping these female vampires man Drana Vito's daughter that's what I'm simping for and they don't want tier 3 subs they want blood and I can respect that Let's keep it going. <sighs> A little heavy on the red mana, but we can play these three first and hopefully draw into a Nighthawk Scavenger, so we're going to keep it. 
Temple of Malice to start us out with. Yeah, I'll take an Expedition Skulker, why not? Uh, we're going to start with the Null Priest of Oblivion. Okay, so Null Priest. No, we can't play her kick. Um, if you don't have the mana, I don't know why it asks you which one you want to play. I don't know why it just doesn't play it for you. Um, oh, Brushfire Elemental, okay. Alright. Uh, put that down, and we're going to play... Um, Call Blade. We gain a little bit of life. We have uh, Zargas here, so we're going to be able to bring him out pretty soon. Because that's a warrior, that's a cleric. We're going to bring out a rogue, and he's going to be able to come out. So we're going to be doing big things in a second if we can take this hit. Uh, and I think we are. We're going to gain a little bit of life, so I'm not, I'm not worried about taking the hits. Okay, so that's... We can actually pop him. Oh, we really need a black mana. Here's a rogue. Um, let's hit the cull blade. Boom. Okay. Uh, we can take another hit for five. We can even take another hit for seven. Um, because when Zargus comes out... Yeah, I figured it was going to be for seven. No, it's only going to be for uh, five. So 13 is not a big deal. Because um, once Zargus comes out... Okay, so it is going to be for seven. Yeah, he didn't play a mana yet. Um, okay, so Zargus comes out. And then we hit him for the Big Bang here. Alright. So... Uh, he can maybe hit me for... 8 again? Oh, there's Omnath. Okay. Um, doesn't have too much mana to work with here. I think he's got one. Um, he's got Evolving Wild, so we can put another one down. He's got plenty of mana now. So we almost had him there. There's Banishing Light. Um, so he's going to banish him. But I think he's out of gas now. Okay, so I was only able to do that. Um, we got to use this for black mana. And we're going to put down... Uh, if we put down Malachar Blood Priest... So that's a Cleric... We're going to hit him for that. Um, let us... Let us go. I don't think he's... Yeah, let's go in with her. Three. Okay, let's see if we can survive one more round. Um, a black mana would have really just changed a lot of stuff. So those plant creatures, they don't have haste. There's one mana that he'll be able to do that with. So he's able to do that. He's able to do that. All right, so there's Electromancer. Um, do we just want to kill Omnath? Or do we want to get some defenders out? Hmm, the big question the big question. We'll get a ton of mana from her, and we can use that mana to cast uh, oh, it's only red mana, so that is the big question right now. Or do we just want to get rid of Omnath? I think we just want to get rid of Omnath. Or do we want Phyloth the World Skulker down? Yeah, I'm thinking he has an ultimatum here, so... Um, I'm going to do this. We get that mana, and then we're going to do this. Uh, kick it, and destroy him. Oh, we can't. Okay, so we're just going to destroy... That plant. Alright, 
not enough black yeah that's what really was screwing us um so no attacks let's see here Ugh. somebody spamming in the chat who is that yeah not enough black we really got screwed by not enough black mana here he did nothing which is weird um, it's so weird that it makes me upset inside. Um, uh, he left right away. Uh, okay, so what are we doing? We're bringing in Expedition Skulker. And I think that's it. Yeah, you know how you get the big times. Well, you know, you know what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for Raid Shadow Legends. That's that's my that's my that's how I know that I'm really you know that I'm absolute boss. You know. Oof! Another banishing light. Man, I need that chair, so, you know, I'll do what I gotta do. Unclear why as to why he would do that. Maybe he's gotta boost up. Yeah, feet of resistance, figured. Expedition Skulker. Why is he so scary right now, man? Um, why is he so scary about this? If he's just being silly and just playing around, that's a bad idea. Um, because, uh, if I draw, that's a cull blade. So, um, if I draw one of these again, if I draw a Zargas or a Drana, things are really going to change. So, oh, we finally figured out that blocking them was making my cull blades more powerful, so. Maybe he is pulling for a crazy ultimatum here. There's a Roiling Regrowth. So he's going to get a crap ton of effects going on right now. This is what a healthy meta looks like, guys. <laughs> healthy meta. He's got all the hits here. He's got all the hits. Um, he's just gonna. He's just gonna block with him. He's just gonna go in with him. No blocks. Uh, there's Drana. Yeah, when you make Ugin look balanced, uh, shit's real. This was, I don't know how they didn't notice that this was so easy to trigger. Like, to get it like, oh, a third time. Like, it's easy to get it triggered three times. It's not that hard. Um, so I don't know why they were like, oh, it, it'll be fine.
Well, if he if he plays a land, I'm dead. That dude is literally out of land drops. That is weird. You can bring back Ardent Electromancer, that's it. Uh, and now I have a blocker for Brushfire Elemental. Um, so yeah, that's weird. Um, let's see. Okay, so he finally got his land. And the thing is, is there's no counter for it. Like, I would wouldn't be that mad if they were like, okay, well this is this is a thing called this stabilization orb. And what stabilization orb it says it, it makes uh every time landfall triggers you can pay one and it won't work. Like, okay, well you're giving me oh there's ultimatum. Um you're giving me an option now of you know, doing something. Um How about that? Healthy meta. The funny thing is, guys, if he didn't draw a land, if he drew another thing, he was out of manned. Um, if he was out of land there, I might have won. Um, because uh, he kind of ran out of land triggers and I was holding him off. Uh, so that's kind of the weird thing. But um, let's try it again. I was happy to hold our own against the... You can't see me doing air quotes. Healthy meta. Yeah, Fave Wishes is... Uh, Fave Wishes is a weird card. Um, that was the uh, four-color Omnath that he played. I think that that's the number one... The four-color Omnath is the number one um, played thing right now. I don't I don't like this. That's better. Amber Cleaver, you're a little too expensive, so we're gonna hold off on you. Okay. Yeah, we'll take it. Brazen Borrower. I, I see Brazen Borrower so much. Oh my god, I see Brazen Borrower. Three, four, five, six, seven times a day. Uh, we might even see he's playing blue. He might have Brace Borrow right now. There's Riddle Form. That's another one you see a lot. Uh, there's Call Blade. We're getting close to Drana here, but we haven't stacked the graveyard yet. We do have our Rebirth ready. Uh, we need to draw some more. Um, There's an, another riddle form, which is going to activate riddle form, so that's weird. Um, okay, so we're getting inching, inching closer to Drana here. Um, it's an early, early hard cast Drana. There's Opt, so. There's two riddle forms out. Um, he is not really getting a lot of mana, so I don't really know what's going on there. Um, so we're going to be down to 11, which isn't too bad. Uh, let's see, my thing. Okay, we drew another mana, which is really the last thing we needed. Um, hopefully we don't get one mana counterspelled. Uh, excellent, we did not. Um, let's see if we're going to get Brazen Borrowed. Uh, I probably should have waited on Drana until I have that one extra black that I can hit with Malachar Rebirth. But, uh, hey. Life is about taking risks.
there's Expedition Stalker. Um, we are going to... wait for him to potentially cast a spell is what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to attack with her and him. We don't have anything in the graveyard yet. Too bad. Uh, next. He is kind of mana stuck. He's going to play Opt and bring out Riddle Form. Um, which will give us an absolute perfect opportunity to play Malakir Rebirth on Drana, if necessary. He might do the double block, which would be smart. But we're vampires. And the thing about vampires is they're undead. Oh no, you're gonna kill my Drana. Oh my god, what a nightmare. Oh, I've dreaded this day since the beginning of time. Yep, that's going to make Malakir stronger. Oh, it comes back into play. There you go. So, if he doesn't get a blocker out right now, he's going to lose. So he gets his blocker. If I draw a removal, he's going to lose. Okay, he wasn't able to do that. Um, I'm not going to go in with Drana because I believe that he's probably got another one of those trickers. So, let's see here. He's going to do the tricker? Nope. No, he's just going to take it. Um... And I wasn't worried about losing one of them. Oh, there's Archon of Sun's Grace. Oof. Oof. Oh, and Sentinel's eyes on him. Oh, we really gotta draw removal now. We really gotta draw some removal now. That was a hell of a combo. Okay, and we drew another mana. So now we're gonna go hit that and hit that. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, Malakir Callblade gets more powerful. He can attack with Archon. Um, he can attack with Archon, but he'll be leaving himself a little bit defensive, of defenseless here. I think he's going to do something... Okay, so he played a... Uh, what was that? Sentinel's Eyes? Okay, so he played Sentinel's Eyes... He got his riddle forms out. I don't think he's going to lose them. Um, he has some blockers. Okay, yeah, he's 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 going. He's going for it. Uh, yeah, he's going for it. All right, we'll block him. Let's see if we get that removal. If we get that removal. We're in. We're in. Uh, we're in like Flynn. We just need to get that removal. And we got another mana instead of removal, so that's great. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's fucking terrible. We drew another goddamn mana. Um, oh, I don't think we're recovering from this one, boys. Uh, two attacks.
Yeah, I don't think we're recovering from that one. We just, we, the auto deck, look at that. That's the, the auto dealer just fucked us on that one. We had nine. Oh, and he got Ruined Halo out and that. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna kill us. All right. Good try. Good try. Um, not a bad game. A little bit of back and forth, a little bit of give and take. Um, but uh, maybe we should deck tech. What do you think? A uh, few people ask me, hey, do you ever hot swap stuff out? Do you ever deck tech? Yeah, let's try it. Um, let's take a look at what we can do to up our up our power here a little bit. What can we do? All right, let's check it out. Oh, we lose life with Feed the Swarm. Hmm. Converted mana cost. Hmm. Hmm. So, 22... I think we could probably go one less mountain and get away with it. Do you think we could? Or should we stay with that? Should we go one less swamp? Hmm. And what if we... Yeah, so it's the only thing that can destroy enchantments, huh? Elspeth's Nightmare. Uh, no, can't. So, Feed the Swarm can destroy enchantments. So, that is an interesting idea. Um, yeah, I think we'll take a little bit out and then we'll up the, we'll up the game here with a little bit of Fabled Passage. Good call. And then maybe we'll add a Feed the Swarm just to be able to get rid of enchantments because uh, the Omnath deck like to enchant us. So what else can we get rid of? I like that Expedition Skulker was kind of an MVP. Uh, I don't think Cullblade is as useful, but it helps us get the party numbers out. So um, what else do we want to kind of move away from here? Embercleave hasn't done anything for us tonight. So we're, he's just gonna take a break. Um, and we'll come back. So that's a little bit of teching for you, for those late view watchers. It's only about 15% of you, but hey, why not? Because we're almost at the end of the video. Um, we're one up, two down. Let's see if we can end it on a uh, even note here. Also, potentially, yeah, I think uh, a Red Warrior might be a good idea too. Just to kind of round out the numbers. Um, maybe we'll try one more with... Uh, um, something like that so not a bad draw not a bad draw let us get fabled passage and get a red card out immediately um so we can do that right away It wouldn't let me click it. That was weird. Um, no, we don't want that. We want red. All right. And I think um, Callblade is coming out. He's going to play Opt, another blue player. Um, Callblade is coming out. Then we're going to hit Magmatic Channeler and play Blood Priest after Magmatic Channeler, and that will give us a 3 for 3. Okay, so that's another passage. He's going a little slow, and we're going to move a little faster than him, which I think will give us a little bit of an advantage there. Coveted Prize will be able to be played, too. Okay, so Blue Black. I mean, uh, yeah, Blue Black. Oh, it's a mill. It's a mill, everybody. We got a mill here. So Magmatic Channeler is going to come out. 
Um, and we're not going to attack. Really could use some removal. Hey, good night, Astral. Uh, thank you very much. We're, we're closing it up here at Shop 2 uh, real soon. So um, thanks for catching it. Have a good night, Astral. Um, check out the video tomorrow. Grasp of Darkness. Okay, so we just killed him right away. Alright, there's Null Priest. We're gonna save. Well, he's Menace, so we can get him behind enemy lines. I, I would've liked to get him a little different, but no attacks. We really need to get some removal here. Um, the Lightning Bolt or any one of our other thousand removal cards would be great. Mine Rot, I discard two cards, that's a shame. Um, and that's a mana, which we don't need. Block Malkir, Blood Priest, and Cull Blade, and Oblivion gets through. Yeah, the Crab is very powerful. For as many times as you can, um, as many times as you can play a land in, in this new kind of uh, crazy environment, yeah, he's not really leaning into anything. He's just setting up something. I think it might be Rogue Mill, which is what I run into a lot, but he hasn't really played very much. He might have gotten a bad hand. Okay, so that was green mana for some reason. Um, maybe he was missing some green mana here. Um, and I just need to not draw mana. Okay, there's a Null Priest, which I don't want to cast yet because I would rather bring somebody back from the graveyard. Um, so we're going to wait on him. Because one more mana and we're able to play... Uh, some Null Priest action. Yeah, I feel like he would have played Rogues by now. Uh, maybe he needed that green mana. There's Brazen Bar. Uh, not a good idea to throw Null Priest back to my hand. That was not a good idea. Um, because I can kick Null Priest if I draw a uh, mana. So, not too smart. It is rogues. I'm sure it's rogues. There's Liliana. Um, he's probably going to use the negative three to kill a blood priest, is what I imagine. Oh, I want to discard a card. Discard the extra null priest. Expedition Skulker. And I'll just get him out. Might as well. And I have eight removal cards in this deck, and I have not drawn a single one of them. So it would be really awesome if I could get rid of that crab. Uh, just just peaches if I could just start getting rid of stuff instead of just this crap that I'm drawing It's a hell of a thing to throw away Okay, so let's thwart the grave um who can I bring back to the battlefield that would be really good? I guess Magmatic Channeler would be really good. He would probably kill her right away though, that's the issue. Hmm. Hmm. So we're gonna hold on to him. We're going to do nothing. 
Yeah, the priest does would do the full four damage. Um, but I need to do more than four damage. I need to think long term. Um, I was hoping that he'd mill something good. <laughs> um, oh shit. Oh, yeah, I should have done it. Yeah. I should have done it. There's an Inos Scavenger, so that's going to be a lot better for me. Um, and we're just going to send him right in. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we have a little bit more power. Um, hopefully he doesn't have any removal and can't kill my night hawk. No, he played midnight clock instead. That's a weird choice, but okay. Uh, he might just kill him. Nope, he wants me to lose three life and he's gonna discard his own card. Um, that was a little bit weird. Uh, he cannot block. Oh, he can block creatures with flying, so hopefully we'll draw a removal here. Otherwise, she's going to activate her alt, uh, which is going to really, really fuck things up for me. We can bring out Drana, though. Um, so, we will do this. He has that, and he has that, so he's going to get through no matter what. So the alt will be canceled. Um, we have to, even if it sacks that. Um, that's menace, guys. I know you're trying to block with the crab, but you can't. Oh, apparently he can. Oh no, he can't. It won't. It won't accept it unless he puts a second one. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Ooh, ow. So now Malakar is strong enough to take out the crab. Um, Drana is there. Hopefully she does not get removed. Um, and Drana is going to have a whole host of things to bring back. None of them are good for him. He has one card in his hand because he... Oh, he grasped a darkness there. Look at that. He just fucking top decked the perfect card. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, unfortunately, he is going to... Drana's gonna get... I gotta keep somebody on Liliana, unfortunately. Um, and I am ahead of him in life. So there's Nighthawk Scavenger. Excellent. Um, she's getting hit. He's getting hit. He's getting hit. Uh, they're gonna. He's gonna go face. So Lily's gonna go down more. Uh, Nighthawk Scavenger is okay. He's gonna lose the crab. No, he doesn't want to lose the crab. He is going to black Molecare blood priest. Good call. Take three. Take two for Lily. Midnight clock is is gonna go nuts. Uh, Nighthawk Scavenger, let's see if he top deck another kill card. Um, no, he's got Teferi, so that, that, that's not good. Um, I can kill him in one turn, though. Um, I don't think that that's gonna save him. So, ooh, okay, yeah, it's over with now. He can, yeah, he can phase Nighthawk. Um, I mean, he killed Teferi by doing that, so I don't think it was a good trade. So he's de he's dead now. 
he's dead. Unless he can board wipe, he's dead. Because I'm just going to hit Vito's ultimate and go in. That was just some housekeeping. Um, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, but I, I need Vito to kill him, though. He's he's still dead. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Eh, I already... Go face... Okay. Um, excellent. Two up, two down with some slow burn games. Um, some real slow burn games there. Um, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Um, I think we will leave it there for tonight. It is an interesting little deck. Um, it's the little deck that could. Um, it can um, it can hold its own in Mythic. Not very well. It's a 50-50. So maybe you go up, maybe you go down. Does it need a little bit of teching? Does it lead to a little bit more power? Maybe. But listen, I'm not here to tell you what's going to climb you to the number one spot. I'm here to show you some fun stuff. Um, that's my job, and that's what I hope to do. So, that's Blood Party. A little bit of tech, a little bit of tweak, a little bit of jank, a little bit of beak. Hey, I like it. And we are going to leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get this video up for tomorrow. And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow night because we will have a special surprise tomorrow night. Anyways, that's will be it for me. I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.